<laughs> Sorry about that. Totally got thrown off. Ended up ending the um, video earlier than I wanted to and right at the juicy part. Okay, so what I was trying to share is that um, there's something that I learned from the motivational guru, Tony Robbins, years ago. And this is something that you can try since you were talking about um, ignoring people. But this is just, uh, no, 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 no. We were talking about learning how to ignore people and put your focus on where you do want things to go right or well for yourself. And I was explaining to you something about scrambling a pattern, okay? So one of the ways that we can scramble a pattern so that we break our addiction to drama, if that's what it is, because sometimes we don't know we're addicted to drama, and we'll latch on to a thought or a negative uh, energy or behavior um, just because we're used to it, just because it's familiar, not necessarily because it's in your best interest. So you can try these three things together simultaneously and it is bound to shift what's happening in the moment. One, you change what you're giving your attention to. What has your focus? If it's something that is not of your best interest and you know it and it doesn't feel good, shift your focus to something that will. It could be going out into nature. It could be turning on a comedy. It could be just uh, focusing on um, a, a YouTube video that has empowering information. Shout out to Harold, what up? Um, number two, change what you're talking about or change how you're talking about it. Shift your language, change your language. What else could it mean? How else could you speak about it in an empowering way? So right now we've got changing your language and we've got changing your focus we got to do these things together the last piece of the puzzle that you do you change what you're doing with your body do something different with your physiology i don't care if you got to jump up and do some jumping jack jump up and <laughs> shake it down do something with your body get up and run outside go do some breathing exercises go to the gym before you can think about not doing it be already in the car if you do those three things simultaneously, change your focus, what you're giving your attention to, to, change what you're speaking about or how you're speaking about it, and do something different with your body, you are bound to scramble a pattern. You are bound to experience the moment differently. This is very, very powerful for you to try. So, referencing back, <laughs> shift happens. Hello. Referencing back to Carrington and his saying he wanted to get in the habit of not focusing on what other people say that can discourage him. Try that. Try that. And in addition to that, focus only on what you do want. Crush distraction. Turn off the social media if you have to. End the conversation with the person that's discouraging you. Completely shift your focus to something else. Give your attention to something else. Read the book that's going to empower you. Go get on YouTube and find your mentors create a support system for yourself and stay engaged in it constantly. Be relentless because if you've got a habit of being negative or you've got a habit of paying attention to negativity, you've got to be relentless to get on the other side of it. We're creatures of habit. You feel me? Okay. Janice, how are you? <laughs> Shift into turbo. Face forward. Embrace. Tune out. Hello. I heard that. Uh, <laughs> Harold. Hey, Denise. Okay, y'all. So, you know, this was just a continuation from the last live bit video that I did. Rhonda! Diggity! What up? All week. Confirmation. Gee, I love to be confirmation. No accidents. That too, Carrington, right? <laughs> but if that doesn't work, try those things. Seriously. We're creatures of habit. We have to uh, practice things. Practice makes permanent. Practice, practice, practice. This is a walk. Okay. Hi, Denise. So just dropping some nuggets in your bucket. Today I asked two questions. Uh, later, if you want to answer the questions underneath the thread, be my guest. Happy Women's Day. That's right. Thank you. Happy Women's Day to all the ladies out there. And if you want to answer these questions on the thread later and I have any insight for you to help you, I will drop it there if you don't mind me sharing. It's in what ways do you feel you hold yourself back? And if there was one skill that you could master that you don't currently have, what would it be? Okay, I'm going to get something to eat and then I got to get on a, um, a couple calls for business. Gary Spatz! Spatz, what's up? You guys, I got to shout out somebody in the room who was very much a part of um, 
developing me as an actress. Gary Spatz was our acting coach on the Mickey Mouse Club. I was a Mouseketeer, for those of you who might not know. And um, Gary Spatz was very much a part of our formative years. Shout out to you, Spatz. Love you. <laughs> okay, Harold and Taz and Aisha and Carrington and everybody else who joined in on the conversation today. Sending love out to you guys. Um, if you do want some recommendations for anything about some of the stuff that I discussed today, holla at your girl. Tell them I say you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, I hope everybody's having a great day. Peace.